You know, I tell people, everyone know all the glory, but they don't know my story. And I want to acknowledge my wife and thank UNT for having me here as well in the speaking series because whenever I can get up and share my story, I'm excited about it. Because the reason why I tell everyone that I'm going to tell you something you may not like, but you got to know this. In life, you're going to get knocked down, but you got to know how to get back up. And I've been knocked down more times than I've had successes, but I've always gotten back up. Because I started out in Wrightsville, Georgia, a little town that only had a Dairy Queen and Piggly Wiggly. And I started out, as my mom said, I was big bone with all the other kids. You were fat. And I used to have a stuttering problem where, where, where I used to beat them myself because I couldn't get my sentences out. And I had a teacher that put me in the corner and she told me I was special. And as I told them last night, four years of my life, I never spoke in a classroom. Four years of my life, I never went out for a recess. And what was so strange about that is uh, I used to get bullied. I used to get beat up on the bus. I used to get beat up all the time. And, and what's so funny, I remember the last day of school in the eighth grade, I decided I was going to go out for recess. And as I was going outside, there was this kid that jumped on me named Anthony Logan. I still can remember his name, Anthony Logan. He jumped on me and he beat me up. And I remember that name because I'd be Facebooking him, tweeting him, trying to find him today and stuff. And <laughs> no, I'm not going to do anything because, because he beat me up, but he also woke me up. Because when I got home, I was looking at Gilligan Island. And I still remember this voice coming to me saying, Bo, you quit that crime. Because my nickname is Bo. And he said, boy, you quit that crying. He said, no one else will ever beat you up again. And no teacher will ever put you in the, in the corner again either. And that's the day of my life I started working out. I started doing about 5,000 push-ups every day, 5,000 sit-ups every day. I started going to the library, getting books, sitting in front of a mirror, reading to myself. And things started to change. So Anthony Logan didn't just beat me up, but he woke me up. And because of that, that's when my life started to change. And I say I started getting scholarships, not just in the athletic world. I started getting academic scholarships to go to college. 